So, it's overpriced, and you'll need to modify your cabinet space a little. For my TK932S, I needed 17 and 3 stroke 8 plus 5 stroke 64. Height, minimum 21 inches depth, and it should be 36 inches off the floor, but mine isn't. I installed it into IKEA 30 inches lowers because my wife wanted a kitchen hood over the stove where the microwave used to be. You'll need to be a little handy to get it installed, but it's not hard. With making the modifications, it took me about an hour. It's done that the trim kit is more expensive than the microwave, but the Panasonic inverter is awesome. So just suck it up. As you can see from the picture, there is a gap around the microwave. NNSD 975S. Like others have mentioned, however, it doesn't bother me, and I think it still looks very nice. When you look at it straight on, the vent that attaches to the microwave is shiny so it was quite noticeable, in the left side as looking at the front. But I went ahead and covered it with a strip of black electrical tape, and the problem was solved. Installation can be quite tricky if the opening of your cubby is not matching since the trim clips in at all four corners with only about one stroke four tolerance vertically. Luckily, the width of my cubby was exact. However, I needed to cut out another inch to fit the vertical dimensions in order for the trim to clip in. Overall, I'm very pleased with this trim kit. Trim kit is easy enough to install by yourself if you have the opening and dimensions to start with. You will need two people one with cabinet experience. If you font have a perfect opening I had a double oven and had to divide and trim out the opening and add doors below this does have the gap bar everyone complains about. But if you open the microwave door it needs that gap on the hinge side for the door to open fully. They just match it all around I love it and I get tons of compliments. I would give it 5 stars if the engineer did some adjustability so your install didn't have to be perfect.